Ohio Breeders' Championship Consolation, two-year-old Philly Pacers. You're in behind the gate. The gate swings into the stretch, and here they come. Facing Whispering Winds goes right out to grab the racetrack early on. Heart of a Hero gets away second. He should be up on the outside third. He into the turn. Dasher's Girl facing up fourth. Racing fifth. Happy Tradition. Sixth on the inside. As they race down the backside, Tracy Terry trailing the eyes of a Tigress. They're in straight alignment as they race over to the first quarter mark with Whispering Winds and Jeff Fowl. Opening battle 27 and 3. He of the turn. Off stride, Dasher's girl. As they race around the turn, it's Whispering Winds with the lead. Racing second, Geisha P. Pacing third, Heart of a Hero. Back on the outside, Dasher's girl once again fourth. Racing fifth, Happy Tradition. Coming to the outside, Racy Terry. And Trinity the eyes of a Tigress. We got four in, three moving up on the outside. Halfway home, 58 and one. He into the turn and going to the 5 8 mark. Whispering Winds has the lead by a length and a quarter. Racing second as they race around the turn. Dasher's Girl racing third. That's her. Racing to the backside, Geisha P. Up on the outside, Racy Terry. Now fourth, now third, coming on. And right with her is Eyes of a Tigress on the outside, fifth. But they gotta catch Jeff Fowl and Whispering Winds. Three quarters, one, 27 and four. 29 and three, third quarter. Around that final turn, Whispering Winds has the lead. Up on the outside, Racy Terry now second. Dasher's Girl third. Here comes Eyes of a Tigress. Three wide on the outside. Eighth of a mile to go. Whispering Winds with the lead. Racy Terry trying to pick her up in the stretch. Coming to the wire. Whispering Winds. Racy Terry on the outside with every stride. One, 59 and three. Well, it did look like uh, Racy Terry might have gotten up there at the last moment. She ended up going off uh, as your six to five favorite. Good closing move by her. Two-year-old Philly Pace, number five, Racy Terry. Ed Mullinax of Amherst, Ohio. Kelly O'Donnell trains Greg Grismore. Ian Nasonke getting his second win of the week here at Delaware. Two-year-old Philly by Towner's big guy, Ray Racy. Home winner, one fifty nine three fifths. And this is the second pacing filly out of a Sun Sam mare that's won in the two days here at Delaware. The uh, late Sun Sam who recently passed away and the Towner's big guy filly. And the Towner's big guys, he's he's kind of an underrated sire, but he's very, very he's successful. A lot of his horses have a real big stride on them. And we saw the Towner's big guys do very well at the Meadowlands early in the meet uh, this year. Yeah, I think some of those that Virgil Morgan brought out probably fell into that category and they did uh, race pretty well at the Meadowlands in the winter. Virgil really, had a good meet at Meadowlands. Didn't really matter who they were by when Virgil Morgan brought him out. Exactly. They did real well. And I'm sure he's going to be back with the uh, guns blazing this fall, too. He just moved into Northfield and needed like 70 stalls, and I'm sure some of those are going to head east uh, wow. when the Meadowlands opens up. Well, Racy Terry, two and three back, was uh, chasing the likes of its scooter time and uh, pediatrician last time out uh, took some air at Scioto Down.